ます。Magandang magandang hapon po mga katribu and welcome to Kalinang Katribu. Itong special episode po ay dedicated po namin to eh sa mga, sa mga kaluluwa. Yun. <laughs> Siyempre, we remember the dearly departed, the dead, and the not really dead according to our special guest today. Jimmy Likauko. Jaime Likauko, the foremost renowned parapsychologist in the country, author, popular and renowned author, <laughs> columnist, resource person, lahat na andun na kay Jimmy Likauko. Because it says, di ba, araw ng mga patay o araw ng mga kaluluwa in, in uh, Mexico and even all parts of the Spanish-speaking or Latin world, It's really Dia de los Muertos. But when you say Dia de los Muertos, you actually say the Day of the Dead. But when we hear our special guest today, malalama po natin mga katribo na wala talagang salita sa larangan ng reincarnation ng salitang patay. So Jim, There's no such thing as muerto no. or dead, right? No, it's transition, they call it. It transition. It transition. So, yes. ano ibig sabihin ng transition? Well, from, from, uh, you, 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 from one form to another, uh, from one passage to another, you transit from one place to another, that's transition. So, that's what happens, no? We, we just transit to another level, the spiritual world. We leave our physical body. So, later on, we pick up another body. And we live again. According to reincarnation. Remember. Yes, according to. Right. Yes, according to the, Remember. The, the, uh, Corey, the problem is that in this country, since it is a Christian and Catholic conservative country, this topic is never talked about. You, you never hear about these things being discussed in the academia, in scientific circles, even in public. No, you don't talk about this thing because it is discouraged. It is considered heretical, it's neither blasphemous, uh, so many things no? against it uh, that was um, uh, commanded or by, by the church. So that's why people don't talk about it. You know, I remember one story. Huh? I was, uh, I, I was, um, I didn't believe in reincarnation yet, not that time. I was in the, in the company uh, working and a group of us were, 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 were discussing reincarnation just for fun, some office mate of mine. And then one one manager came in. Today, what what are you talking? Because we were very you know, animated discussion, you know, and said, "What are you talking about?" And I said, "Oh, we're talking about reincarnation." Oh, oh, reincarnation. Let me out of it. I, I don't want to talk. I don't want to. Because we, we asked him to join. He didn't want to join. He said he does. I don't. I don't want to clutter my mind with that. You see, they they don't even want to talk about it. They don't want, they don't want to think about it. So shut. Yeah, shut. Kula. Wala na, wala na lang, they cannot progress anymore. So that's what's been happening here in, in, in our country. The many ideas that, that are um, really very useful, but people don't want to discuss it. Reincarnation is one of them. So Jimmy, di ba sabi nyo, ayon sa mga lectures mo, sa dami ng mga lectures mo, sinabi nyo sa amin na nasa Biblia noon. Yung tungkol sa reincarnation. Oh, yeah. oh yes, yes. There are several passages in the, but I don't, I, I have to refer to my book, no, to the specific, but there are several one. Matthew, dalawang, dalawang you know, passages, say John. Uh, in, in Matthew, it says that, um, it says in the, in the book that um, Elijah will, will come. No? But I say, I, I tell you that Elijah has come and, um, They were wondering why why did Christ said that I just but they they did not recognize him, and he will be judged by other by other men like like you will be judged also, and he came to keep things in order. Uh, it's very clear in 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 the Bible that he, Jesus Christ said that no? Elijah has come, and people did not recognize him because he's in another body. What does he mean by that? 
when I asked the priest what it meant, no, that particular passage in Matthew chapter 11, I think. I'm not so sure now, but anyway, when I asked the priest about it, he said, no, no, Jimmy, it doesn't mean that uh, Josh, uh, Elijah, was, uh, that John the Baptist is the reincarnation of Elijah. It only means that what it means is that the personality, the zeal, the religious uh, of, of, of conviction of uh, St. John is the same as Elijah. So I said, why didn't the Bible say that the, that, why didn't the Bible say that? That the personality of, of John say similar to Elijah? Why did they say, why did Christ say John is Elijah? Mm, for Elijah. Yeah, it's John. <laughs> it's very clear. And yet they, they mis, not that misinterpret, they interpret it in their own way. Mm-hmm. And so, sabi nga ni Edgar Casey, one can, can, um, can interpret the Bible or one can put reincarnation in the Bible and another can put it out again. So it depends on how it is interpreted. interpreted. There, are, there are at least five or six quotations from the Bible uh, that refers to reincarnation. But there is no word reincarnation. At that time, Corey, they don't, there's no such thing as reincarnation. They, what they call, they call metempsychosis or transmigration of souls or resurrection. That's what they call it, but not reincarnation. So sabi na, wala sa Biblia yan. So it's not there. It is there, but not in the words no, that not we use. That word that we know, the incarnate, no? Mm-mm. But, uh, Jim, sinabi nyo in the, there were several Gospels, right? In the Bible or that were expunged or removed. Oh, yeah. Marami. <laughs> Kasi pinag-uusapan nila yung reincarnation. Tama ba yun? Oh, well, for example, the Essenes believe in reincarnation. And uh, that, that, that the, the Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, that was found in Dead Sea Scrolls in uh, 1947, I think, uh, where the Essenes uh, would, would describe their community. And they believe in reincarnation. Many, you know, many other civilizations or cultures believe in it. Uh, 60%, 66% of the whole population of the world believe. Only Christian countries do not believe in it. It's a minority, actually, in the whole world. The belief in reincarnation is a majority okay. in the whole world. Remember, uh, pinag-usapan natin noon, the last interview, pinag-usapan natin ang near-death experience. Okay. Yung mga taong lu- uh, pumunta na, o uh, lumipad na, o uh, Tumawid na. Oh, tumawid na yun sa, sa ibang buhay, sa kabilang hmm. buhay, pero pinabalik. Okay? okay? Yan ang mga taong nagsulat ng mga testimonials nila na meron palang langit. Meron talagang langit. Hmm. Yes. Pero, meron ba tayong mga accounts ng mga taong namatay na nakapagbigay ng kanilang mga testimonials na totoong-totoo, merong langit. Merong kabilang buhay. At nabubuhay mm-hmm. ulit tayo sa kabilang buhay. Jim, sinabi nyo maraming testimonya. Meron, but they don't call it, he- they don't call it heaven. You know? um, well, if, if you're a Christian, they, they, they describe it as heaven. But those who are not Christians, they describe it as a beautiful place with angels, uh, singing with beautiful flowers that there is no sickness there is no death uh, you know everything is very loving it's a beautiful beautiful place that's how they describe it they don't say heaven only the christians talk about heaven no, not another thing there is nobody who talked of hell nobody who has had never uh, ever experienced going to hell except one she beta Edi, who is a very very devout catholic she said she went to hell but after so many maybe hundreds or thousands of people have gone to uh, undergone NDE, never talked of hell. So there's no such thing, <laughs> according to them. Mm-hmm. See? So you you think about it. Yes, of course. Pero sinabi nyo na meron ng mga testimonials o mga kaluluwang patay na o tumawit na sa kabilang buhay, pero they were able to still tell their stories. What are those cases, Jim? Oh, there's so many uh, cases of the dead. No, they, they remain dead, 
but they are able to to communicate. So it's in the Bible, no? In Samuel book one, it's, it's in the Bible. The king uh, Saul was facing a enemy, no? In his uh, in his uh, well uh, city or whatever, the Philistines, no? Were there in front, and he wanted to know whether what's going to happen because he 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 banished all the seers, <clears throat> the prophets, and all that. <clears throat> and then somebody said, "There is a woman in Endor who can talk to spirits. Oh, oh. Bring me there." So he went there in disguise and knocked at the door of this woman of Endor, who's a medium, and said that she he wanted to talk to somebody who's dead. And the woman said, "Oh, don't, you're putting me into danger. Don't you know the king Saul has forbidden us to do this kind of thing? So don't worry," uh, said King Saul. Of course, the man, woman didn't know who he was talking. She was talking to who was who's the person that you want me to, to to talk to i want you to talk to the prophet samuel so she made some you know, uh, shoes for a while and then said yes i have he, he i have him uh, around and then describe him to me so i've been at king saul and he, he he has a beard and he has a robes so attire and king saul knelt down and said that is really uh, the prophet Samuel, and then he asked the question of what would happen to him during the, the if if they invade, you know, the other party, the other camp, and um, whether it it would whether he would be uh, victorious or not. Yes. And and he, he was told he will not he will be defeated and he will be killed, and he 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 went home with, with so much spirit. Everything that was told to him by Samuel came true. The point here, or is it? I can't understand why the, the church is saying you cannot communicate with the dead when the Bible itself has that story. They, they have a really hard time explaining this, huh? this mm -hmm. particular passage and uh, someone. It's their kasiya. It's very clear, no? You can communicate with the dead, no? And I, I really cannot understand this. How come they say they cannot? It's in the Bible. I don't know how they explain it away. Oh, my. Pero I cannot understand. Way. Will you ask a priest about it, you know? Sometimes they, they, they don't want to discuss it. How okay. can you explain that? What what is it doing in the Bible if it if, if it is not true? And then they say, oh, but then God forbid forbade us to to do that. So because that is a more proof that there is there is uh, communication with the dead. Because if you for, if you forbid something, that means that something can be done. No, the fact that you forbid it means it can be done. Otherwise, why did you forbid it? And but you get it. Sorry. Right, of course, of course. <laughs> uh, so, they cannot see that logic. I do not know why. Sabi nyo, marami talagang mga patay na nag-communicate o nag-contact sa mga psychics dito sa mundong ito. At ano-ano yung mga iba't-ibang storya nila, Jim? Can you start with one or two? Depende kung uh, tinatanong nila. Uh, even, even I, no? Sorry. <laughs> My brother-in-law died no, one time. I went to the to the wake. At the wake, I felt very uncomfortable. As, as, uh, I, I, I don't see anybody, any dead being there. But I felt uncomfortable. So I told my wife to bring me back to the house. Malapit lang naman. And uh, I said, karating lang natin. I will. So I said, no, I, ca I can't, I can't st stand here. I, I, can't, I can't. So she... She got the car. I was in the car. We were going. We were leaving the the church you know, or the chapel. When I went into trance, I felt I, we, were, we were. There were only two of us in the car, and then I started talking in the voice of my brother-in-law, Tirandine, who was dead, who was there in the in the wake. You know? <laughs> and he said that there is something very important that uh, I want you to tell my wife to take a look at my my apparador or my closet on the right side on the third shelf. You no, know? there is something there. And please uh, tell her. So my, my wife said, yeah, yes, I will do that. So when she came back to the to the church, she told the, the wife about it. And then when the wife went home, she looked there and there was a check mm. for 150,000 pesos, which was his commission for insurance, so, which he, she did not know existed if, she, if, if he did not tell her that there is something important there. So I, I myself talked or, or not, but I don't talk to the dead. The dead talk to me. No, yes, that's the difference. Yes, I know. People think that I can talk to the dead. I cannot talk to the dead. I want that clear clarity. But some, some, there are about six or seven cases where they talk to me and 
with and verified uh, verified information. In fact, I'm going to have a, a, a an interview with somebody whose whose wife was with the Supreme Court. He's a justice of the Supreme Court who gave me a message for him, and uh, we'll talk about it maybe next week or some Monday. I'm going to interview this guy and uh, how I got this message. You no, know? so. Even I, I, I have done this several times. No? So that's why I'm convinced because I have done it eh? <laughs> with, with verification. Oh, I know. wrong validation at verification. Oh, that's so much. Today, no, no, there is one uh, recent book, Handbook of the Afterlife, written by by John Klimo, uh, mm-hmm. who was formerly the head of the. Uh, of a university uh, in, in in California, Concord, California, uh, and in, in that book he talked about what happened, really in the afterlife, and he quoted me because I, I know him personally, and he quoted me in that book, uh, which a handbook of the afterlife. So I am there. No? <laughs> so, How do you Filipino raising the Philippine flag always sa buong mundo? Pero Jim, para sa mga nanonood ngayon. Siyempre, they're riveted, they're uh, in awe. How do we communicate with the dead? I don't. I don't communicate. They don't communicate. Meron bang technique? There is a technique, but there are people who can do that. Just to be open to them communicating to us. Kasi sabi daw nila, pag October 31 hanggang November 1, pinapayagan daw, <laughs> sabi nila, The souls are given permission to visit the earth and communicate with their loved ones. Sabi daw nila according to tradition. Okay, it's called the Day of the Dead or the All Souls Day. Uh, so Jim, kung open na tayo makapagtanggap uh, na mga mensahe galing sa mga minamahal natin sa buhay na suma kabilang buhay na, ano bang dapat natin gawin? Be in a meditative state or what? what Are there requirements? Well, Where there are some who are sensitive, naturally sensitive to the spirit world. There are some who are not. Whatever you do, they cannot mm-hmm. communicate. These are, these are very rational person, very analytical, skeptical. They, they cannot, no, no matter what you do. But there are some people who are natural psychics or natural mediums. And they, mm-hmm. in fact, they don't like it. But but but, but the uh, spirits keep talking to them because there is, you see, when a spirit, wants to communicate something, he will look, the spirit will look for a medium or channel where he or she can transmit that message. If you have seen the the movie Ghost, one of the best movies I've ever seen about this supernatural, is Ghost starring Debbie Moore and Patrick Swayze. Hmm. You notice there, there was this woman, I forgot her name, the, the black woman who was a medium, she was reluctant, uh, Whoopi, Whoopi Goldberg. Whoopi Goldberg, know? yeah. Yes, and... Uh, spirits communicate to her and she said she's always uh warning them off uh, and, and then one time uh this this practice Swayze uh, was so mad already she forced himself to her and she she was able to he was able to communicate uh to yeah. to, the, to his wife through her so yeah. and, and what i'm saying is that there are people who are sensitive to this and some who are not at certain occasion without their knowing it bigla na lamang mag magsasalita no yeah. and and then they're able to communicate a message which can be verified but that's what happens to me no before i would go that's into a wrong. trance and then sabi nga tayo minsan oh yes i i i yeah I remember no when we were with, with Billy Billy Cancio and all that i gave a message to him and said yes that's a very important message for me Is it meaningful to you? She said. He said yes. I forgot the message, but Billy says it really was. Ano ano? Uh, tama yung sinabi ko. Mm-hmm. Hindi ako sinabi. True, true. Somebody. Marcos came through me. The, also, I have channeled Marcos. I have channeled several other people. No, and uh, that's why I believe in this. Nobody can tell me it's not true. I, I don't care if they don't believe in it. I'm not in, interested in convincing them. Uh, it's their own problem. No, if they don't believe. But this so is something that I... you don't do that I, anymore, no, Jim? You don't do channeling anymore? Ayaw mo na. I know. I, I don't do channeling purposely. And I never did. Uh, 
it always comes and I know in spontaneously or mm. I, I don't I don't plan it no I I I, I don't deliberately go into it pero pagka may importante na si, na I'm there I'm the open channel papasok yan no and there has it has happened about seven, seven or eight times in in ano dito sa, oh, uh, sa Manila area but so many times in Banahaw almost every week no I would go into transit yeah, yung Banahaw Ayan, pag-uusapan natin ang Mount Banahaw sa aming pagbabalik. Huwag po kayong aalis, mga katrigo. Botomoto Halalan 2022, The Daily Tribune Special Coverage. Magandang araw, mga katribo! Narito na ang mga makakasama nyo tuwing umaga sa programang Gising Na. Roy Pelovelo, Kofi Manalo, at Tony Lia Badilio Crisostomo, Vernon Velasco, Kim Sancha, at Jerk Balagtas. Abangan ang programang Gising Na mula alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga sa Facebook page ng Daily Tribune. Inabas ng mainit na kape! At samahan kami sa inyong pag-almusal, mga katribo. Sama-sama natin alamin ang mga natatagong istorya sa mga latest na kaganapan sa loob at labas ng bansa. Simulan natin ang bawat umaga with good vibes sa mga informative and recreational segments ng aming programa. Maaari nyo rin ibahagi sa amin ng inyong opinion via Daily Tribune Facebook page at Tribunal sa YouTube. Makichika na rin sa latest showbiz happenings, mga katribo. Kaya naman, magkita-kita po tayo mula lunes hanggang biyernes, alas 8 hanggang alas 9 ng umaga. At magsama-sama po tayo sa... Gising na! Ayon sa World Bank, tinatayang 4.8 hanggang 12.7 milyong toniladang plastik ang sumisira sa ating karagatan taon-taon. Halos 80% nito ang nanggagaling sa Asia. Sa buong mundo, ang Pilipinas ay itunuturing na pangatlong pinakamalaking nagdudulot ng polusyon sa karagatan. Ang nakalalasong kemikal mula sa plastik ay di lamang kumukontamina sa karagatan, ngunit pati na rin sa hanging nilalanghap at lupang ginagalawan natin. Kung magpapatuloy ang kasalukuyang paggamit ng single-use plastics, Sa taong 2050, mas marami na ang plastik kumpara sa mga isda na nasa ating mga karagatan. Dahil dito, mas pinaiigting ng pamahalaan ang kampanya laban sa paggamit ng single-use plastics. Nanganganib ang ating planeta. Iisa lang ito. Lahat tayo ay dapat kumilos sa lalong madaling panahon upang pangalagaan ito. Tama na ang plastikan. Botomoto Halalan 2022, The Daily Tribune Special Coverage. Yan mga katribo, siyempre continuation ng ating talakayan tungkol sa reincarnation. Ayun. At karma, hindi pa natin pinag-usapan yung karma, Jim. May connection ba ang reincarnation sa karma? They go together. You cannot talk of reincarnation without karma. You cannot talk of karma without reincarnation. They, they go together. Bakit? At paano? Because because what 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 makes uh, what 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 creates the reincarnation uh, transition is karma i think one of them anyway uh, it is because of karma that there is reincarnation see so you cannot separate the two so it means kung hindi pa kompleto ang mission mo sa buhay o meron kang kailangan ayusin mm. okay sa so second life mo oh, eh, not just second life kasi marami no based on the incarnation di babalik ka at yung connection na yun kung bakit yung dahilan na yun kung bakit dapat kang bumalik yan ang karma yes yes you, the reason uh, not, not, well not it's not just that no it's, uh, uh, it's a law of compensation whatever you do will come back to you so that's what the karma is no it's a law of compensation or universal justice there is nothing that you will do or intend or desire that 
that does not have any consequence. There is always a consequence, and that consequence is karma. That's what Pero karma hindi means. Pero natin nalalaman amang buhay tayo kung ano ang magiging karma natin sa darating na buhay, di ba? Well, we don't consciously know it, but we we, we know it subconsciously. See, that, that's the, the problem that people say, I don't remember. Yes, you don't remember it consciously, but it is in your subconscious mind. It's there. The soul never forgets, and everything that's happened to us, even, even in previous lives, nandito sa atin yun. Not in our memory back, but not in the conscious level. In the subconscious, that's why in a trance or in hypnotic reg- regression, when you're hypnotized, you can recall those past lives. You see, because it's there. It's it, it's not put there by the hypnotist or hypnotherapist. It's in your mind, your subconscious. So, and it's just drawing that subconscious from you. That's all. Okay, kung ang reincarnation ay marami kang buhay na dinaanan na, right? We have no hmm. idea how many lives we went no, through. I don't have any idea. Yeah. Kung marami, let's say, is hmm. there a way while you are alive today, ngayon, na meron bang paraan kung saan mabubuksan natin yung pinto na yan ng ating subconscious nang sa ganon malalaman natin ano ang mga iba't ibang buhay natin na dinaanan natin at saka yung mga leksyon na, na naka, nakonektado sa buhay na yun. Is there a way? Yes. <laughs> The, the most popular way is uh, hypnotic regression, past life hypnotic regression. And through regression, you can really go back to the time that, that uh, is important to you now to, to understand, you see. And, and there are many books now written about it. I have done many uh, regressions also from in the Philippines and in Poland. I, I, I was doing, For three years, I was going in and out of Poland and I was doing seminars, hypnotic regressions, etc. No? And uh, I have experienced a lot of interesting things about regression. You can really go back to thousands of years and see what happened there. That what well, you are like this, you no? Know? For instance, there is this man uh, who was blind, born blind, and it's not my, mine. No, it's Edgar Casey. He was brought to Edgar Casey, that psychic American psychic, uh, to, to 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 find out why was he born blind. Then Edgar Casey said that this man was uh, once uh, in charge of prisoners no? of, 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 uh, in, in a long time ago, thousands of years ago. And he loved to torture his prisoners. And his favorite torture is blinding, blinding the prisoners under him. So in this lifetime, he's given the chance to be blind himself. So he will understand what he was doing to other people. So that is one way where karma goes back to you. Yes, but he did not understand why. In that present lifetime, bakit, bakit bulag siya? Yes, he does not know consciously. But subconsciously, he knows. He knows. You see? Subconsciously. Yes, it is there. You never But lose no, the, this memory. Regression. Yeah. Well, the only, that's only one way. There are many ways. It's meditation, to dreams, to the mirror technique, and many other techniques. No? Uh, about five or ten different techniques for knowing the past. In my soul match karma reincarnation, I do regression uh, by through meditation. Oh, Jimmy, kailan ang next seminar niyo sa soul match karma reincarnation? I think that will be the last weekend of November, but we'll, we'll flash mga it. Mga natin gusto kanilang sarili. Yeah, uh, there will be a seminar. Um, I think uh, I think the last week- weekend of uh, of uh, November. It will be held. Uh, All the, the seminars will be held. Number ni Jimmy, ni all, the, all the seminars are held on, on a weekend, on Sunday. Yeah. So, so all they have to do is call that number. Yes, I, I think it's in flash now. No? I thought 8810-7245-0998-9886292. Okay, you got it. Perfect. Call Jimmy Licauco or yung kanyang secretary, right? May sasagot doon, no? Well, yes. For your signing up, kailangan ilan ng grupo? Gano kalaki ang grupo dapat, Jim? Um, this is an online seminar. So it's, it's flexible. 
So, pwede. Kano karami? Mga, mga fa- ten, ganyan. Ten, ten would be the minimum. Or eight even. The, no, pwede be minimum. Then we can run a seminar. Okay. Alam ko na you are a much sought after speaker and resource person dahil meron ka mga interviews sa, galing sa buong mundo, galing Amerika. Yeah. Lahat na, no? Buti na lang na uh, pinlaunlakan nyo kami. So, Jim, ito yes. na. Karma reincarnation. Alam mo, I'll tell a story to you, mga katribo. Ito, tunay na story ito. And Jimmy matatawarin siya. I was, at that time, matagal na ito, with the, my, the love of my life. Ayan, ah. Alam mo, Jimmy, kung <laughs> Which sino. one? Which one are we with dozen of them? <laughs> okay, yeah, never mind that. Okay. Tapos sabi niya sa akin, and I, sumasayaw kami. It was a nice, beautiful song. And tapos tumingin niya sa lumingon siya sa akin, tumingi, tiningnan niya ako ng mat, na talagang seryosong seryoso siya. Biglaan. Jimmy, was so serious. At sino, ang sinabi niya sa akin, pag hindi tayo matutuloy dito sa buhay at dito sa mundong ito, dito sa buhay natin ngayon, sabi niya, I will see you in the next life. Really? <laughs> oh. Interesting. Ha? Sabi ko, sa sarili, wag! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why? Because I understand karma. See? Mm-hmm. I, said, I said, oh my gosh, I have to go through something again with this person. That means we have to still fix something, no? Mm-hmm. At that time, I reject ko. But now, I truly understand. Bakit? Diba? What did he know? Was that a premonition? I don't know. It's a psychic uh, perception. It's a spontaneous perception. Many of us undergo this, but they do not realize it or they ignore it. Pero all of us are psychic, eh? all, all, no exception. Because there is a certain faculty or there is a certain you know, organ in the brain, or not really in the brain, the mind, uh, that, that, uh, that, that, that has something to do with this, no? And in the in the brain is the pineal gland, that is as, nobody can prove this. Huh? It's not scientific, but uh, there is uh, an opinion by many that it is the pineal gland that uh, is intuitive, no? gives us the the power to know these higher levels of reality. It's the pineal gland. So there well, are some the pineal gland, and the pineal the, gland is a physical. It's a. It's the physical. Is that it's at the center of the brain, uh, in, the, in the middle. In the middle here, so my bumbuna and, and, and in the middle. It's a small organ uh, that's corn shape. Uh, um, what's that, 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 that cone, not corn, cone shape. Cone organ. shape. Okay. Cone. Physical, yan, eh. it's a material yes. thing, the oh. pineal gland. So you can, be, you can, if you meditate, connect with your pineal gland because yung ating utak yeah. ay connectado sa lahat ng ating mga organs. Yes, exactly. And uh, in fact, there are certain systems in the East, in India, for example, and Tibet. No, they have a method of of of, of uh, activating the pineal gland, and they have done it for thousands of years. No? There are certain cultures that that encourage this particular uh, meditation system to know uh, something else, to, to know some higher reality, which are ignored by science, by Western science. So, so that's a new kind of seminar you can do, Jim. No, it's difficult because you know it's, it's difficult to to tap that. No, um, th- th- there are some ways in which it can uh, spontaneously be tapped, but to have a seminar to tap that, well, it's so difficult. Only <laughs> only a few can can do this. Remember, Jimmy. I know isa sa mga reincarnation mo ay sa Egypt. Well, yeah, that, that's the one that's critical for this because I have many incarnation, but the one from Egypt is the one that is important in this lifetime, as a scribe, three thousand five hundred years ago, Egyptian scribe. <laughs> Kaya pala interesado ako sa Egypt. I, I never, you know, I don't read novels. No, I hate novels. Uh, but many years ago, in the in the seventies, the first novel that I read was a very thick book, siguro 600 pages. An Egyptian, 
uh, the initiation. And it's about the, a priest, no? who was initiated into the mysteries of Egypt. And I finished that book, which is 500 pages, which I, I, I don't like reading novels, but that is the only novel. And I could not understand. And on, that was in the 70s, pa, no? I, I didn't believe in reincarnation and all that. Then I used to collect things about Egypt, about uh, Greece, no ancient Greece. And it's only after, in 1979, that I found out who I was in the past. <laughs> uh, alam niyo mga katribo kasi si Jimmy tinuruan niya ako mag-meditate right Jimmy? I'm one of mm-hmm. your best students yes tapos during meditation po etong nakita ko si Jimmy at ako nasa procession we were in a procession <laughs> and ang costume hindi costume yun parang uniform na nga yun eh he's an Egyptian costume pero parang I was a priestess. Wow. Okay. And Jimmy, you were the the, the high priest. Okay. <laughs> Tapos hawak hawak ko yung isang libro, mm. and I was behind you. You were walking ahead of me. I was carrying this book. Tapos pumasok tayo sa isa sa mga paa ng Sphinx. Yes. Remember? Yes. So I asked you, Jimmy, bakit tayo pumasok sa loob ng paa ng Sphinx? Nagulat ka, di ba, Jimmy? You were so yes. shocked. There. Yan ang isa sa mga nakita ko. And okay. then... We were later, all together. <laughs> and then later, I, I I read from Edgar Casey that in one of the paws, well, one of the paa of the, of, the, of the Sphinx in Egypt, lies the a library, a huge library. Uh, record of everything that happened to Earth and what will happen. Nandun sa dun sa sa lugar na yon. It's a hall of records. Ano kaya nangyari sa hall of records? Bakan nandun? Wal, wala okay. pa up to now because the, the Egyptian government does not allow uh, the you know to be to be explored na that particular one to be open. Ayon na nala. That day they were allowing someone to be the OV open. Ayaw na yung cordon of pare ng Sphinx. Ano ano? May cordon ang Sphinx. Kaya ito no now uh, when I was there in 1980s, no, I uh, there was no cordon, but they were they were digging uh, behind the, the Sphinx. And there's a pool of water. It's water, no. Underneath is water, no. So Sphinx. Oh, oh. And, and they have prohibited this now. Thank you so much for the time you've given. Kasi kailangan, kasi 30 minutes lang itong show. Bitin na bitin po tayo mga katribo. Kaya we're going to ask Jimmy Licaco to come back again next week. Pwede, Jim? We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Please. Para ituloy po natin ang series with the famous Jimmy Licaco. So, Jim, contact numbers ulit para sa mga gustong magpa-seminar o webinar sa inyo on Soulmates Karma Reincarnation. Yes, so, the, the R28810-7245. And 0998-988-6292. Yan po mga kaibigan, ang contact numbers ni Jim Licao. These are his books. Can we do... Oh, ito na yung mga books ninyo eh. On Soulmates Karma and Rig. And it's for sale, right? Available, Jim? Yes, you can call us in our office. And most of my books are no longer available in the bookstores. But some are available with me, like Psychic World and You and Soulmates Karma Reincarnation. Thanks, Jimmy. Closing message, please, to all our Katribu. Well, everybody is psychic and everybody can really channel them. And uh, there's nothing to be afraid of about the supernatural. The reason why we're afraid of something is because of uh, ignorance. We don't know it. And there, what is the cure for ignorance? Knowledge. So once you learn, when you research on this, then you're no longer afraid because you know. But if, if you don't research, if you don't know, you'll be afraid of ghosts. You'll be afraid of so many things. You'll be afraid of uh, dying and all that because of fear. And uh, so for me, I, I have spent a lot of time and effort to explain these things that cannot be explained by science. And um, I don't know whether I have succeeded. I don't think I have. 
because it's still ignored by science up to now. Yeah. But at least there are some people who have gained some knowledge and believe in, in it because they have experienced the things that I have been talking about. Oh, you have succeeded, Jim. Marami ka mga followers. And so yan mga katribo ng ating episode with Jimmy Licalco, Karma and Reincarnation. Okay. At sana, he will say yes to us next week ulit <laughs> on our continuation on our soulful journey with Jimmy Licalco. Okay, thank Happy you, Carl. Also, yeah. Thanks, Jim. Happy All Souls Day to everyone. And yes. uh, God bless. Keep safe, everyone. Ito po si Cory Quirino para sa Kalingang Katrip. Thank you.